Central Bottle Wine and Provisions is located in Central Square on Massachusetts Avenue in Cambridge. Every Thursday evening, the store offers a unique pairing in the spirit of a Venetian Enoteca, where customers partake in small food plates and well-matched glasses of wine. Taking us through this Thursday evening pairing of white wine and oysters was one of Central Bottle's founding owners, Maureen Rubino. Hi, I'm Maureen. I'm the proud owner of one of the four partners that own Central Bottle Wine and Provisions here in we're very fortunate on Thursday nights, um, we try to imitate one of our favorite places in Venice, a Venetian Enoteca, where you can actually shop for wine, buy it retail, but in addition, experience what we loved when we visited Italy two years ago, was this Italian Enoteca thing that they did, where you had a glass of wine in your hand, you had some food, little bites of food, and you could shop and eat, you could actually buy cookbooks, do whatever you wanted, meet with friends, mingle, and then move on for the rest of your evening. And that's what we're trying to accomplish here on Thursday night. So right behind me, we're having our Thursday night uh, special event, Oyster Bar, and Wines by the Glass. So we chose four fantastic wines, mostly from the Loire Valley in France, that we thought paired really well with oysters. We've got um, 500 oysters from Island Creek Oysters. Beautiful shellfish farm in Duxbury, and here they are. Let's get a close up of these beauties before they're opened up. Nice deep cup. That's the beauty. Whoa, these are Chris used to talk about oysters all the time. Once you get the deep cup, you're gonna get a lot of seawater in here, beautiful brininess, meaty, fleshy. You can't just swallow them, you gotta give them a little bite. They are good for you. We've got um, four extremely oyster-friendly wines here, uh, pairing with the, the Island Creek. So we've got um, Muscadet, which is sort of one of like the textbook quintessential oyster wines. Uh, Guy Bossard would be, um, in many people's opinion, the, the top dog in, in, in the Muscadet appellation. So we're in, we're in Loire Valley in France, we're like right on the Atlantic Ocean. This is like prime oyster territory in France. And, these are the wines that do the trick here. Um, so we've got one of his muscadets, and then the fellow makes tremendous um, sparkling wine, sort of champagne method wine from the same place, from a, a collection of grapes that, that grow really well here on the Atlantic coast. So this is like really bright, crisp, refreshing sparkling wine. So he, he's both good, good oyster candidates here. Um, and then to throw a couple a couple curveballs in the mix here, we've got uh, Pigato. This is uh, a, a white wine from Italy. It's, it's from Liguria. So this is sort of like the, uh, the Italian Riviera here. Pigato is the grape. They make these really kind of fresh, lemony, almost like an oily sort of texture. So these are just great all around seafood wines. And then from the Basque country, um, the Spanish side of the Basque country, We've got some chocolate, which is one of the native uh, uh, native wine regions here in the Basque Country. These are really high acid, really refreshing, kind of lemony, citrusy white wines that are just for all these reasons perfect with oysters. So, so from five to nine tonight, you can come on in and get oysters on the half shell. We made homemade salt cod rondad on toast. Uh, we've got beautiful goat cheese plates from the Loire, featuring the Loire Valley cheeses and then four different wines by the glass. You can either get full glasses of wine, so it's kind of like going to a bar. You can say, okay, I'd like that white, that white, that red. Or what really sets us off, I think, is the, the flight that you just saw go by. We'll take all four of those and you can buy a flight of all four. And we tell you what they are, a little sheet of paper underneath, and you can sample and say, okay, this one works better with the dish that I'm having, or that one works better, or I really like that. And most often when someone has those flights, they come back and um, get a full glass of what it is. But you just pay as you go. It's that type of thing. And then if you really like what you see here, then you can go buy a bottle. A lot of people that come say this feels a lot like California bars to them, you know, where they come, hang out. It's very bright. And then off they go. They'll eat us at a house and home with cheeses and meat plates and all these small, beautiful chiquettis that our chef stays prepares. And then uh, have a couple of drinks, and then they finish their night somewhere else. We loved Venice. We went two years ago. 
we were super inspired by it. it the one week that we were there, we rented an apartment, we went to the Rialto fish market every day, we bought little octopus. What can we do with this? What are these whole fish? What can we create? We drank morning, noon, and night, just small samples, just walked around the city. We celebrated one of our partners had a birthday. We went to the opera. We did, we were Venetian for a week and we long for that. We um, have a TV and we show our slideshow of the Venetian trip and just the idea of having food, wine, and your friends and community. And that's what we're trying to do.